In this video, I'm gonna show you four ways to make sure that the vertical lines in your images look straight and vertical. One of which is something you can do during the actual shoot. And the last three are things you can do when editing the image using either Lightroom or Photoshop. Now, getting your vertical lines straight is like a cardinal rule of architecture photography. Some might even say it is the number one rule. I will say this, if you send your images out or post them online somewhere to be critiqued and your images look crooked or your verticals are not straight, congratulations, you have now revealed your card as a novice who doesn't really know what they're doing. Seriously, do not be surprised at the level of mockery you will receive. I mean, it's the internet, come on. It's like claiming to be a professional chef and you attempt to make a classic chocolate cake, but then you forget to use flour. So let's get to the first First way to get your camera level and your verticals straight. Most of the heavy lifting can and should be done when taking the actual photo. Most modern day cameras have built in levels that you can reference. And if you wanna be real precise, you can even use a physical level either on the hot shoe or somewhere there's a flat surface on the camera itself. I am not gonna beat around the bush here. At the very least, there is little to no excuse anymore to not have your images be perfectly level. And if you wanna get your vertical lines straight in camera, it's best to have your camera be level this way as well. But realistically, you're going to run into scenarios where you find that you're going to need to point the camera either slightly up or slightly down, which is perfectly fine, but those vertical lines then are going to need to then be corrected in post because straight out of camera, you'll see that the vertical lines either start to converge this way or that way. So let's get the laptop in here and I'm gonna show you just the absolute easiest way to correct your verticals and horizontal lines using Lightroom. So we're gonna take a look at a photo of a kitchen space that I shot, it's here in Lightroom. I purposely took this photo with the camera pointed down a little bit and slightly crooked. So as you can see, this is the way it is now. No way, shape or form would this be deliverable to my client. It just looks, looks amateurish. And aside from some automatic settings when it comes to clarity and saturation, I really haven't done much. For lack of a better term, this image is pretty close to straight out of camera. As you scroll down to the different categories of things that you can edit in Lightroom, Room, you're going to hit a part that says transform. I'm going to show you the absolute easiest way with a simple click of a button and that is just simply tapping on auto. Boom. That's pretty much it. This is what I mean. At this day and age, aside from things in your camera and things within editing software, there is little to no excuse to submit images or to send images to your clients where they're not level and the verticals are straight. Now let's go back to the way it was originally shot. I'm gonna show you a little bit more of a refined way that I would suggest that as a professional, you do to all your images. I'm not gonna lie, the, the auto button in Lightroom does a fantastic job, I'd say about, 70 to 80% of the time. But on occasion, you're going to find an image that needs a little bit more of a refinement, a little bit more of a precise correction. And that is where we're gonna to go to the button just to the right of auto here in Lightroom. And we're gonna tap on guided. When you tap on guided, it's now requiring you to draw a line of reference of things that should be horizontal in the image. Now, I can't use this edge of the countertop. As you may or may not be able to tell, this edge of the countertop is actually slightly curved. There's a slight curve to it. So going across may not be the best way, but if I wanna use it in some way, I would suggest going from corner to corner. So we're gonna go from that corner to this corner here. And now we need to reference something above it as well. And in my experience, I've said this before in uh, several videos, I try to reference things within the cabinetry because cabinet installers are very precise in making sure that everything is perfect and level. So let's use, let's use the top of the doors here. Uh, we're gonna drag that side from this side. And as you see when I release, now the horizontals are pretty good. They're, the horizontal lines are, are, are perfect, but there's still a remaining issue. Now the vertical lines are off. So now we're gonna need to draw two more lines and we're going to tell Lightroom on this image what should be straight and vertical. Again, I'm gonna use the cabinetry here. Let's use the corner 
of this cabinet here. And the reason I'm using the corner, it's providing a pretty good, because of the light and shadow, this corner is providing us good contrast and reference of what should be vertical. So we're gonna drag that to the bottom there. And I'm gonna use the right side of this cabinet here. Same thing, we're gonna click there, drag it down to roughly there. Boom, there we go. That should be a perfectly horizontal and level image. There's a before and an after. Again, before, after. No way could I turn this into a client. I hit guided, we're getting there. Now I'm gonna show you how to correct your horizontal and vertical lines in Photoshop. I'm gonna take this same image, undo exactly what I did, but now I'm just gonna right click and just hit edit in Photoshop. I would consider this another manual way, but what we're gonna do is now drag lines across uh, to use as a reference. And then for lack of a better term, we're going to stretch the image to match these reference lines that we're bringing into the image. So I'm gonna use the same items in the frame that I uh, used in Lightroom. I'm gonna use this corner of the cabinetry and the right side of these upper cabinets here as reference. And then I'm gonna drag a line from the top. I'm gonna use the top of those cabinet doors there. And I'm gonna drag one here to the edge of this countertop. We are going to work on fixing the horizontals first. You may not be able to see this on the screen recording, but I tapped on edit. We're gonna to go to transform and skew. At this point, what we're basically doing with skew is we're grabbing the corners of the image and kind of stretching them like a piece of stretchy fabric to kind of fit and match the guide, the uh, guidelines that we've placed in the image. So this corner we could bring down here and this upper left corner we would bring up. And sometimes this takes a little bit of back and forth because as you start to stretch the image, you kind of have to, again, go back and correct things that have moved within the frame. I'd say just for the sake of time, that's pretty darn close. So we're gonna hit check there. And now we are going to correct the verticals. So same thing, we're gonna go over to edit, skew, and we're gonna drag the bottom left corner. That looks pretty close there. And the right looks close, but it's not quite perfect. So I think I'm gonna drag this out there. And again, sometimes it takes a bit of back and forth. Again, for the sake of time, I think that's pretty close. So let's zoom back out. We're going to get rid of these guidelines. All right, let's take a look at the before and after, before and after. So again, definitely could not deliver this to a client and after the corrections, we're getting there. Now to backtrack a little bit, another way to correct the horizontals is just by going back to edit, transform and rotate. And what you can do here is just grab a corner and start to rotate the image. And again, you can use those guidelines that you may have drug out before and use those as a reference. But even if I, I'm just eyeballing it here, let's say corrected the horizontals there. Again, they may not be perfect. So you still might have to go to the edit skew side and grab the corners and just refine it. Aside from making your image look level and horizontal and keeping your verticals straight, some of the other basics when it comes to architecture and design photography are making sure that your white balance is properly set and making sure that you have an overall properly exposed image. If you need help with those, make sure to check out the image links that you see on your screen now. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Matthew A. Photo. And if you made it all the way here to the end, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. We'll see you on the next one.